Okay, so today we're gonna take this and we're gonna burn some wood and we're gonna make this. I can't wait to show you. It's so fun. I love burning wood, come on. This was a first for me. I've never used this set. I have a burning tool, but it's more like a soldering tool. So it didn't do a very fine job on wood. I've never owned a pyrography set and I'm so excited. The wonderful thing is that all these nibs give me exactly what I want, little tiny edges. I sketched out my composition here with my acorns with a fine little pencil, not too many details, just an outline of what I wanted. And I thought it would be nice for the fall. So as you can see, I am following my shapes. Of course, with any wood burning tool, you've got to be careful because the minute you make a line, it's pretty permanent. It's not like you can erase it. You definitely want to be very aware of safety. These things really heat up and you want to make sure that you are well aware of each step. Don't set it down except in its very safe holder. My main strategy here is that I want to give depth to my subject matter, my acorns and my oak leaves. And as I'm playing with it and allowing my nib to sink into the wood as I burn it, I am falling in love with the shadows around the edges. That's very enticing to my eye and so I focus in on giving some depth where I might see a light source off to the top right and coming down. I really enjoyed doing the top of the acorns because I held down that nib in different ways and literally when I touch it later it's got a really wonderful physical texture. And again, the biggest challenge for me is overriding the grains of the wood. When I'm doing a painting or a drawing or now doing this fun little sketching into wood, I always like to have thick lines to thin lines. That's very entertaining to my eye. And of course it adds to the dynamic. It literally starts to bring out their three dimensional shapes. What is also a very helpful tool is putting this on my cake plate so that it's easy for me to turn it and move it and manipulate it. And as you can see, I jump from side to side because I'm constantly looking at each side in balancing form. I'm nearly finished with my sketch and looking for final little details, but I'm getting pretty satisfied. Engraving on wood with this beautiful tool is just so much fun. I can't wait to play with the other nibs and figure out what they do. Thank you so much for coming today with me and looking at how I approach my sketch into the wood. The acorns have some depth, especially in their little tops, and the leaves have those thin and thick lines to give them that dimension. I am wishing you happy creations.